Namaste friends and welcome to day 30 of our 30-day Kundalini transformation program. You probably know by now but my name is Andrew and it's been such a pleasure to share this journey with you. Uh, I hope you've had a beautiful experience and in today's class we're going to go a little bit more soft and we're going to focus on the energy of love. Opening the heart, stepping into this energy of giving and receiving love is a beautiful space. You know, we work so much to develop our character, to develop this fire, this confidence, this willpower, clarity of mind, all of these things. And with that foundation, we can step fully into the space of love, selflessness, giving. <sighs> I think it's the perfect way to seal this journey we've been on together. So before we begin, I just say thank you so much for joining me in this. Uh, if you've enjoyed the whole journey together with me, make sure you like the video. And if somehow you made it to this class and you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can stay up to date with the next journey we go on together. <laughs> ah. I'm always a little bit emotional when it comes to the end of these, uh, these, these journeys together. Usually I do it live. This one's not live, but still I feel uh, like we've been through something together. So I, I'm so grateful. We're going to start now by setting the space as usual. So find your comfortable seat, pressing the hips down, reaching the crown of the head up, shoulders back and down, heart is open, soft. Close the eyes, go inside, and take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth inside out. Oh, soften the body, soften the mind. Again, deep inhalation into the heart. And side out. Oh. One more time, filling the heart with air. This time we'll hold it. Inhale, sniff in even more and hold it. Hold this energy in your heart for three, two, one. <sighs> Sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. Notice where you are in this moment, what's moving within you. Is there emotions alive for you? Are you feeling a sense of accomplishment to have made it to day 30? Sense of sadness that maybe it's finishing? Uh, is there thoughts of the future or the past? Sensations in the body? If you've taken anything from this course, I hope it's the op opportunity to look inside and to see what's going on with you right now. Hmm. And gently coming back. <sighs> so we're going to start by warming up the spine, especially this upper area, the upper chest. We're going to do a spinal rocking. I would encourage you to come into easy pose. What we want to do is we want to lean back. The idea is to straighten the elbows and do this spinal flex really in the upper chest. It's a little bit difficult to access this area. So this is where we're going to focus today. So holding the knees, leaning back with straight elbows and inhaling the chest forward and exhaling, rounding back. Okay, we're going to do this for one minute. So coming into position, inhale forward. Exhale back. Let's begin. And again, we're going slow and gentle today. So focus really on expanding the heart, expanding the lungs, opening this upper area of the torso.
Take a deep inhalation, fill the heart. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, focus in the center of the chest. And release and relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. Hmm. Feeling the expansion of the chest, heart and lungs. Opening the spine. Opening our nervous system. Hmm. Beautiful, gently coming back. We're going to do a pranayama now for really developing the heart center and cleaning the lungs. It's a thymus tapping where we're going to inhale fully, fill the lungs, we're going to squeeze Mula Bandha, we're going to drop the chin to the chest, a slight Jalanhara, if you know that one, doesn't matter, chin to the chest, locking this energy inside, and then with the fingertips, we're going to tap all around the chest, all around the area of the lungs, so down by the sides, up to the collarbones, maybe even a little bit at the back, tapping, 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 quite firmly with the fingertips, as if we want to shake something loose you know we're stretching the lungs and then we're tapping to massage and and loosen up anything that's any gunk that might be stuck in the lungs we hold the breath for as long as is comfortable then we're going to open the mouth and we're going to exhale through an open mouth while with the palm of the hand we're going to tap right in the center of the sternum right over top of the thymus <sighs> again quite firm trying to shake the thymus. The thymus is one of our endocrine glands that's responsible for our immune system. I love our capacities to heal ourselves and heal the world around us with this energy. So we tap that to reactivate this gland and send these loving vibrations through our body. Okay, before we do this pranayama, we're going to do three ventilation breaths to purge the lungs. So sitting nice and tall, inhale to the nose, exhale to the mouth, again. Last one. Now deep inhalation. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, drop the chin to the chest and start tapping. Once it's enough, open the mouth, center of palm, center of chest. relax sitting with the eyes closed attention turned inside feeling the activation of the thymus gland this energy radiating out from the heart center mm. opening the heart anahata chakra our center of love empathy and compassion Soften into this space in the center of the chest. And let's begin again. We'll perform another round. One ventilation breath. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Fully in. Hold the breath. Banda is tapping. And open the mouth, center of palm, center of chest. <sighs> Relaxing. Eyes closed, attention inside. Softening into the space of the heart. Notice if any emotions are surfacing as we go into this space. And just allowing what is there. Quite often when we work with the heart, we can release grief. There may be little tears or little feelings of sadness. This is the perfect opportunity to send love and compassion to yourself. 
presence. Just like when we give our presence to a friend, it's a great gift. In the same way, being present with ourself, with our own experience, our emotions, our energy, is the greatest gift we can give to ourselves. The greatest act of self-love is just to be there with yourself. Let's perform one more round. Ventilation breath into the nose, out to the mouth, fully in. Hold the breath, bandhas and tapping. Open the mouth, center of palm, center of chest. And relax. Eyes closed, attention inside. Hmm. Feeling the expansion of energy around the heart center. And all the sensations that accompany it. And gently coming back. Beautiful. We're going to close today's practice with a dynamic affirmation meditation. Where we'll be, we'll be moving, breathing, and using an affirmation all together. We're going to start with the hands together in prayer. And namaste in front of the heart. And from here we'll be inhaling, opening the arms, opening the chest. And we'll be mentally saying to ourselves, may I be loved. And visualize this loving energy coming in, opening the heart, being receptive. May I be loved. And as we exhale, we're going to bring the hands together in front of the heart and say, may I be loving. And visualize sending blessing, sending love to the world around us. Opening the heart, receiving, may I be loved. Exhaling into the heart, may I be loving and offering. We're going to do this for three minutes. Okay, so starting together, hands in front of the heart. Inhale to open, shine your heart. Receive, may I be loved. Exhale, coming in, closing the seal. May I be loving. Inhaling, opening. May I be loved. Closing. May I be loving. Continue. May I be loved, may I be loving. Really focusing on this energy of love coming into the heart as we open and offering it back out from the heart as we close. May I be loved, feel love coming in from the universe. May I be loving, offering love to our friends, our family, everyone who needs it. Coming into this space of empathy, compassion, shining love and light from our heart to the entire universe.
finish with the hands together in front of the heart. Sitting with the eyes closed, the tension inside. Feeling the expansion from the heart radiating out to the world around you. Softening of the ego. Expansion of consciousness. And in this space, we'll take a moment for gratitude, giving thanks for this opportunity to practice together, to step into our power, to learn and grow. Give thanks for this energy that we've experienced together, for the emotions we've shared, We give thanks to this life, this breath, this body, for all the beautiful people in our lives, and for every experience that's helped us to learn and grow and become the beautiful person that you are right now. Remember, Working on the self is the most selfless work we can do. So you deserve to say thank you to yourself today because you've done a great job. Take a deep inhalation into the heart. And as you exhale, gently coming back so that I can say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for joining me over this last month of practice together. Hope you've had an amazing experience. I hope you've had some insights and discoveries and learn new things about yourself and your being. And I would love to hear how the experience was for you. You can take a moment to write me in the comment section and share how it was for you. I would love to hear. I love the connection. I love the interaction. I love you and I'm so grateful to have you here sharing these practices with me. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about all of us together. And this is how we create a big impact in the world around us. So thank you so much for doing your part, stepping into a higher vibration together. Thank you. Namaste. I told you I always get a little emotional at the end of these. Uh, it was really beautiful. I really appreciate you being here with me and thank you for sharing. Thank you for all the likes and comments along the way because that's going to help this program get to that many more people and as usual if you want now you can continue in meditation you can take shavasana and you can share this program with whoever else you think might benefit from it it's uh let's create a ripple effect let's get more people on the path and, and share this beautiful teaching this beautiful practice with everyone I love you. I send you my love. I send you my well wishes and blessings. And I hope you have a beautiful day. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.